Welcome to the Easy 2000 Plus video demonstration. We will begin with the appointment scheduler since the appointment scheduler is what drives the dental practice. As you can see there are different colors on the screen. Individual offices can color code their appointments to whatever they desire them to be. Many offices will have a certain color for their recalls and exam patients and perhaps another color for major work, ortho, hygiene. Uh, you will define that when you do your office setup. We will begin with a 10 o'clock appointment in Operatory 4. I'm going to double click on the time and it will give me a drop down list of all of the patients that I have in my program. I will click on a patient's name to enter an appointment for the patient and it will allow me to add the treatment that the patient will be coming in for by clicking the add button in the upper center of your screen it will give me a drop down list of the procedure codes for this particular patient I'm going to say that he's going to be coming in for a crown you can look up a code by abbreviation by description or by just simply entering the code. And that definitely must be an uppercase D. And you can see that the crown code will appear in your box. You highlight it, click OK. It will give you a warning to add a tooth. I'll go ahead and add tooth number 14. And I will also add my fee. Your fees will automatically be in the program from the setup. And I will say OK. I'll go ahead and add another procedure. I'll be adding the periapical x-ray. I will say OK. I'll add my fee. And I will say OK again. So I have a periapical x-ray and I have a crown. And I'm completely done with this treatment say OK and it is on my schedule. I can lengthen or shorten the appointment time by just scrolling up or down with the arrows and this appointment is now set. Now if I want to bill this treatment out, let's say that the patient came in and had the crown done. Perhaps we did a Serac crown on the same day. I'm going to double click on my appointment and it is no longer a scheduled appointment it is now complete. I click the OK button. Now if I go to my account screen, an account has anything to do with money. I will highlight the procedure codes that I completed and I will click the button up at the top of your screen, New Claim. And it takes me directly to the insurance claim. Now because this is a crown, I'm going to say that this is the initial placement for the crown. You fill in all the boxes just like you would on your claim form. And it has all the information on the bottom. If you wanted to add a note, maybe I could put down here a fractured distal cuff. Insurance companies love notes on claims. And I say, OK. Now my claim is waiting to send. Now I can print the claim or I can send it electronically, but let's take a look at it to print the claim. And there you go, your claim form is completely filled out. My note, the distal cusp is there, and my initial placement. I recommend sending your claims electronically. You do definitely get your money a lot quicker and you say OK. And we know now that this is ready to be sent. If I go to the chart menu for this patient, you can see that the tooth has been color coded to have a crown on it. And you can see the treatment that's been completed because it has a C next to it. If it was a treatment plan, it would just have a TP next to it. Now let's say that we got an insurance company uh, check-in for this claim. I'm going to definitely change my status here and instead of waiting to send, 
I'm going to say that it was verified. If I want to make a payment from the insurance company for this claim, double click and it takes me to my payment center here where I can say that uh, I'm going to enter a payment. So I click on the payment. Automatically, because the insurance company estimated what they thought the insurance would pay, it will put that fee in the box where it says insurance paid. But I'm going to say, let's say that we paid more than that. And I will give it an OK. And then OK. And your insurance payment will appear under the credits. Now, if I have a patient that paid, I click on my little dollar sign up at the top, and I could put $250, and I'll put a check number here, and I will say OK again in the lower right, and it will give me my patients, and you will always have a running balance of what is due on this patient's account. Again, I can go over to my chart menu, the tooth is colored in, it shows you your appointments, it shows you the treatment that was done and what was completed. Thank you very much 